హలో హాయ్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఎవ్రీబడీ విల్ వెయిట్ ఫర్ కపుల్ ఆఫ్ మినిట్స్ today's topic is about screen addiction or excessive screen use when i say screen i mean anything it can be your mobile phones your your tv computer laptop ipads anything so today's format is slightly different i thought it will be more interesting to <coughs> see how many of us have uh, maybe screen addiction or excessive screen use or maybe it's just normal screen use so i thought i'll administer a rating scale that i usually do in my opd when patients come to me i thought i can do that and so you know where you stand then we can um, invite uh, <laughs> dr supriya hegde uh, and she she and me both are going to talk about you know how to actually help if somebody is coping with screen addiction <laughs> yeah i feel like i laced this test too i'm with you on that <coughs> meanwhile you have any questions i think you can uh, uh you can drop or you can you can shoot your questions so we'll take them little later also happy doctors day to all the doctors who are joining i see a lot of doctors and medical students so okay uh, i think i think we'll start uh, because it's a, it's a huge topic so so this questionnaire has 12 questions you'll be answering in the form of uh, yes or no so the first question is i'm also going to do test along with you do you find spending more and more time online or on your digital devices that is computer laptop tablet or smartphone than you seem to realize it's a yes or no i'm going to repeat the question do you find yourself spending more and more time online or on your digital devices than um, you seem to realize <coughs> second one do you find um mindlessly passing time on a regular basis by staring at your smartphone tablet or computer even when you might be better or more pro- when you have more but be- better or productive things to do and doing this do you seem to lose track of time when you are on any of these devices that's a yes or no yeah i hope you're writing down s or counting how many s you you have so we can rate accordingly third question is do you find yourself spending more time with virtual friends as opposed to real people nearby fourth 
fourth question has the amount of time you spend on digital devices and internet been increasing day by day or month by month or year by year fifth question do you wish your child or you could be a little less wired or connected to digital devices such as smartphone internet video games do you wish do you wish it for you or for your child to be a little less connected or wired to digital devices sixth question is do you sleep with uh, your smartphone on under your pillow or next to your bed regularly i think that most of us do <laughs> seventh question do you find um uh, yourself viewing and answering texts tweets and emails at all hours of the day and night even when it means interrupting other things that you're doing such as office work or school work for kids eating food meals sports or any other family activities eight do you limit block or filter internet and digital screen time access for yourself or for your children ninth do you feel um uh, your use of technology or screens actually decreases your academic productivity or work productivity real time socialization family participation or physical activity tenth question do you find yourself feeling somewhat ill or at ease or restless or uncomfortable when you accidentally leave your phone or any other digital device in the car or at home or when you don't have internet service or when the device is broken i think that again a lot of us do because uh, 2020 our life depends on our phones 11th do you feel reluctant to be without your smartphone or other digital devices even for a short time last question do you find yourself feeling reluctant to limit or remove your use of digital technology and when you limit it or or take it away from yourself do you have a strong emotional or physical reaction towards it for example let's just say your friend or somebody has hidden your phone or if you are a parent you hid your child's phone do you think you are experiencing a strong emotional or physical reaction beat anger anxiety or low mood etc yeah so count your s or no Hmm. So out of this if you have scored 8 to 12 yes that means you know you potentially have screen addiction which is severe if you have around 4 to 8 you're having moderate screen addiction if you're having 3 to 4 you don't have addiction but you have excessive screen use less than 3 is normal so i don't know how many of us are less than 3 so how many of you scored severe screen addiction that is 8 to 12 i'm going to accept i scored 11 sorry i scored a 10 so i i think <laughs> i think i fall into severe I also that's because you know I'm doing a lot of online consultations and also because of this page I am on my phone for a lot of time than I would like to be so I don't know okay yeah 
So I think that's the test. People who missed out or who are joining late, uh, I'll try to save this uh, entire article on uh, entire uh, video on uh, my page. So it might, maybe you can just test later or you know, etc. I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna call uh, Dr. Supriya to join us. Give me a minute. Yeah, five is not bad. Five is somewhere between moderate to maybe excess use. So you can still work on it. I mean, it, not, no scores are hopeless, to be honest. You know, we can always work. We can always go on a digital detox. How to do that? You know, we'll wait for Dr. Supriya to join and she'll be helping us now. So Dr. Supriya is my... Um, today I'm actually a little uh, anxious to be doing uh, live because... Dr. Supriya is my professor in college. She's one of the professors that trained, uh, uh, that trained me. <laughs> yeah. So meanwhile, we have a question that is, what about when you have your immediate family living in other countries and when the only way to connect to most of your family and friends in these times is through phone? I don't think so. We should assess ourselves based on the current situation. Um, because people are uh, uh, using a lot of screen these days. So otherwise, you know, when other, other than the corona situation, when you're actually working and when you're stopping working, stopping going to school or not being proactive at your work or school and other relationships, but, you know, you're spending most of your time on phone, um, I think then that's a problem. Right now, maybe it's not, it's not a problem. Any other questions? We'll, I'll take. What do employees in IT do? They spend close to 8 to 12 hours a day looking at screens. I think IT employees are definitely screen addicted. If not addicted, they they have to spend because that's their bread and butter. So what to do, I think, how to take screen breaks, etc. We'll talk. Dr. Yeah, is joining us. Hi, ma'am. Hello. Good evening. How are you, Charan? I'm good, ma'am. How are you doing? Oh, oh great. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would see you on, on screen like this. <laughs> ma'am, um, so I was just so telling them that... You registered the questionnaire already? Yes, ma'am. I did. And most of the people scored as moderate to severe. Okay. Including okay. myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure even yeah. I would have scored very high. <laughs> yeah. It's very high. I mean, it's one of the common addictions these days. Yeah. Um, I think thanks to I the lockdown, there'll be a bias. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there is nothing to do was, but your screen. Yeah. Yeah. True, ma'am. So, so I was telling everybody that I'm a little anxious about doing live today because you're my professor in college. <laughs> I should have dressed in my sari and wore my specs, I think. Should I get my specs? <laughs> okay. uh, ma'am, do you want to do you want to introduce yourself to my viewers, ma'am? Uh, yeah, okay. I am Dr. Supriya. Yeah. Uh, I'm a psychiatrist. I'm a professor at Father Muller's Medical College. Uh, Dr. Charan is my student, a very good student actually. And I can see he's doing very well for himself, uh, very active on social media. And he is uh, kind of introducing our, our oldies to social media as well, you know. I've never done this before. <laughs> this uh, chat thing is a new thing. <laughs> 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 
No, but you've been a sport, ma'am. You immediately said yes, and uh, you're very enthusiastic about it. I was so happy. <laughs> You know, I still written down the instructions as to how to log in and things like that. It's in front of me on this paper, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma. <ma'am. laughs> it's not that hard, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. Um, so coming to today's topic, screen addiction, right? I mean, um, how do we tell? I mean, besides the rating scale, how do hmm. how does one tell if it's excessive screen use or is it normal screen use or is it an addiction? because there are no clear guidelines True. so See, like on, uh, other yeah. like at other addictions we have a diagnostic criteria for this we we do have but it's not like in the books it's not a diagnosable psychiatric entity as such so mm-hmm. and it, it differs with age for example if a less than 2 year old child is made to sit in front of a screen it is automatically inappropriate but for a person a say it professional or for a matter a doctor now who's doing online consultations being in front of the screen may be a necessity so it depends on the age and it depends on the uh, social situation also in a in a time like lockdown what is screen addiction what is there to do we can't even get out of the house so it depends on the situation as well but if somebody were to say that you know they have you know given up on alternative uh, engagements like they used to go love to go for a walk they cannot do that or they used to love to talk with family now they don't do that or you know there's always the thought that you know when can i go back to my screen when can i go back to my gaming or when can i go back to my so, uh, social media if that's constantly on the mind then definitely there is something is uh, not all right also if earlier they were getting you know feeling satisfied earlier with lesser screen time and now they want to be on it all the time you know there's an urge to increase that time like a tolerance kind of a phenomenon in which they need to go up on the screen time even then that could indicate that they are getting into a addictive pattern right right so basically if it causes social dysfunction or occupational dysfunction yeah yeah or uh, or when you feel a lot of anxiety when you're not with your screen almost yeah. like a withdrawal symptoms of any alcohol yes, or anything yes. yeah 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 so typical withdrawal yeah. craving or withdrawal tolerance any of those yeah. in a different uh, like it's in a different form obviously because it's not something that you are ingesting it's something that you are you know experiencing so it has mm. to be kind of thought of slightly differently yeah ma'am uh, what i am seeing because i i work with the urban population in a huh. city yeah. in a corporate sector i'm seeing a yeah. lot of youngsters yeah young, as young as um 10 to 11 are brought with huh. actually screen addiction uh, huh. how 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 young of the patient that you are seeing with screen addiction ma'am as young as 2 years but they are not brought as patients they i have observed yeah. them in the community yeah. okay they parents don't hmm. realize but we when we point out that this child is not looking at anybody's face he is not uh, you know his hmm. uh, milestones are delayed he is not speaking appropriately i have brought it to the notice of people around me you know and uh, told them to cut down on the screen time and remarkable progress after hmm. that if you speak to the kindergarten mm. teachers mm. you will get an idea that mm. they, the only thing that they keep telling in pta meetings is don't show the screen don't show the screen that is how it is mm. most of the yeah. uh, people who come to me are teenagers and they come with other problems mm. along with the screen addiction like you know lack of yeah. friends poor self esteem uh, beginning yeah. to start uh, drugs so there are other things in the clinic what i get is different what we see in society mm. which mm. is actually mm. Uh, you know, which just that those are the warning signs. If we can pick it up early, mm. those are different. Right, right. But I think we should mm. pick it up mm. there, so that it doesn't become mm. a bigger problem mm. later. Mm. Mm. Also, ma'am, I see uh, uh, most of the parents are to be blamed as well in this because uh, because both are working parents and uh, they they want mm. child to be engaged with something. They give off yeah. the uh, phone to them. Also, it's a nuclear family system right now. So we don't have oh. nani and daddy and all those people to play with. Oh. Uh, so parents also, I think, need to be very cautious yeah. about giving screen uh, to children. Um, even uh, in my OPD, ma'am, when I'm asking questions to mother who is a patient, if the hmm. child is irritated, hmm. she would just throw up hmm. a phone and she's like, hmm. "Yeah, yeah, that's how they behave." <laughs> so parents are not yeah. being a good example themselves. So, like after dinner, yeah. say everybody's in the hmm. living room. the tv is running some yeah. random show the father is on his mobile the mother is on her mobile and the child is on mm. uh, his or her ipad 
So, uh, hmm. and even if they get an old mobile, like a parent's old used mobile without a SIM, that is being used by hmm. them using Wi-Fi. So, this hmm. is the kind of hmm. setup in most families now, where there is absolutely no yeah. conversation. Yeah. Everybody is on the screen. Hmm. 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 Also, there is no parental guidance or supervision or even restriction, ma'am, because you can access yeah. any kind of websites with adult content, etc., for true, any true, child true, as true, young. True. True. They yeah. don't. Also, uh, it's a they're flip, not. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then once the, the the child is very young, whatever content they view, hmm. they are curious to know more. They don't know the repercussions of that. Yeah. Some of them even end up yeah. befriending yeah. the wrong people on social media, and then that yeah. leads yeah. to you know you know sending some pics, then blackmailing, and so many other things come. So we've had patients who got into hmm. trouble because of that. Because they have gotten friendly with yeah, people yeah. who have asked them to send some adult content, and mm. that became an issue. Then they got blackmailed, and these people slit their wrist. Mm. All that kind of stuff we have encountered. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Uh, if we have to tell people about what are the general uh, effects of screen addiction, you know, physical <laughs> effects and <laughs> psychological effects. What are the diseases <laughs> that people can be prone to because of excessive screen use? What do you see, ma'am? Okay. Uh, like what I have seen is so many of them have physical symptoms like headaches, eye strain, yeah. lack of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm. Then uh, some of them uh, psychologically they have irritation. Then uh, hmm. they will be very snappy, uh, hmm. lack of patience, confused hmm. mind, cannot make a decision. Hmm. Then uh, suppose they are prepared like now a lot of these children competitive exams got delayed because of lockdown, and they don't know when the yeah. exams are. So these children mm. are spending a lot of time on screen. Then they are complaining that we mm. can't study. So the not being able to study mm. is because of this screen interference. They are thinking they are not yeah. able to study yeah. because there is no date for the exam. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. that becomes yeah. an yeah. issue. True. So there can be physical mm. symptoms. There can be psychological symptoms. Insomnia, like lack of sleep, can become a symptom. Then even you know some people, uh, if they encounter any kind of you know um, like content on the screen time. that leads to lack of self esteem and you know some break up and all those issues then that gets connected it can cause anxiety it can cause depression as well but not as a causal factor uh, screen yeah, yeah. addiction per se can cause uh, like headaches eye strain uh, you know gastritis insomnia ir- mm. psychological irritation confusion uh, mm. memory disturbances inability to plan mm. because the mind is constantly yeah, yeah. occupied with the uh, what they are seeing on the screen they cannot switch set mm. so all these things mm. can be mm. seen mm. very interestingly ma'am i was talking to an orthopedician he is talking mm. something about i think huh. claw text syndrome or mm. something i forgot the name it's a syndrome mm. where you have uh, nerve degeneration um, mm. uh, of your radial nerve and ulnar nerve on your hands because of excessive mm. texting Yeah, so even like cervical spondylosis. Yeah, this neurologist was saying like a cervical spondylosis, and mm. even like some kind of like a brachial plexus kind of a you know like some comp- like a nerve compression yeah. kind of a syndrome. Yeah. You know? So in which they have yeah. wherever they yeah. are yeah. using the phone, they are not able to uh, like it goes numb. They cannot feel the sensation. To put it yeah. uh, simply, yeah, yeah. That is because they are using the phone yeah. in a particular yeah. manner. They are not changing the position of the head and the hand. And that's it. Yeah, causes that. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah, back strain, yeah. orthopedic problems, and even this uh, spinal issues can ha- can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, ma'am. So, what 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 are what are few tips? I mean, uh, like like what are the few tips that general tips that we can do in the house for healthy screen use and uh, not to get excessively dependent on it? It depends. It's different for children, different for adults, partly. Because adults, children yeah, are adults. are monitored by adults, so whenever they are being given yeah. a gadget, uh, at the beginning of the yeah. uh, giving the gadget, also the parents need to tell them that you know this is limit setting. You will not be able to use it for more than this time in a day. If it's less than two years, don't mm. give the gadget at all. If it's beyond that, say oh, it's yeah. two to five years or six years, maybe an hour max. Beyond that, if they have schooling needs, like right now all the classes are happening online. so they may be on screen for other reasons also completing assignments and things like that then we need to mm. discount that aspect but we need to uh, limit mm. set that is first second is uh, we can use the screen time as a reinforcer that if you clean your room if you mm. help me with the dishes then you can take half an hour of screen time 
instead of they bargaining yeah, yeah, with you yeah, that yeah. only if you give me screen time i will clean the plates I'll, it should be yeah, the other yeah. way around <laughs> yeah yeah that works then well actually yeah. yeah it can be used as a reinforcer then yeah, uh, yeah. family time at least have basic meals together at least say one prayer together at least mm. no if you're not able to go out at least walk in your house or do some exercise stretching exercise yoga something together mm. and there is time mm. now it's not that we don't have time we have more time than yeah, we ever yeah. had so yeah, some yeah. some True. things that you can do together that will help mm. for yeah, adults yeah. basically you know you need to make a schedule for yourself uh, that i am mm. going to get up at this time i am going to sleep at this time just because i don't have to get up mm. early in the morning doesn't mean that i am going to stay, stay up the whole night and mm. uh, be, be do my gaming that should be not done mm. then exercise mm. is a mm. must now all of us can at least squeeze mm. in an hour of exercise you know because mm. it's important you know we have time this covid times we are all you know we do have time on our hands then mm. you can mm. cook a meal actually for yourself because that is a healthy way yeah. to be whatever you want to eat rather yeah. than getting it and heating it and then being worried whether you ate yeah. something yeah. then <laughs> better to cook a good meal that will take care yeah. of at least an hour and an hour and a half then yeah. uh, try to talk to somebody who's with you rather than a virtual person who you want to talk to so that way you can you know bond with the people around you yeah. then uh, yeah. try and do some closet cleaning or some activity which you know mm. which will give you some happiness you know this is my space i have kind of sorted it out mm -hmm. and uh, today was actually after i think 6 months i am wearing lipstick you know so sometimes you can just sit and do your makeup in your room and just try to be good <laughs> <laughs> this is no way to go and you everywhere you go you have to go in this mask <laughs> so sometimes these small things you know self beautification parlor lady can't come home you only dip your leg in hot water and do your own pedicure all these things actually can help to divert your mind from screens i mean these mm. are only diversions but mm -hmm. uh, they are they help you to get out of the addiction as well. Mm -hmm. ma'am actually what is happening is the things that you told people are yeah. doing but the the motivation to do that is to post the pictures later on the social mm -hmm. media and see yeah. how many likes they are getting so yeah. their self esteem yes. is somewhere directly associated yes. to their likes they are getting or yes. not so they compare true. with the friends yes yeah. true that's a addiction the basic thing is the cognition why i want yeah. to be on social media why i want to post this picture why is those likes so important for me Hmm. why i cannot have friends in real life and then i'm so happy with 350 followers that i have on social hmm. media hmm. why is it like that so hmm. that's hmm. a very important uh, very important aspect actually why am yeah. i doing this <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> um also i i i tell some of the fa family members ma'am to have no yeah. screen areas if they're yeah. entering the kitchen if they're entering the dining area if they're entering the living room Mm. Uh, any way where the family bonding occurs you cannot mm. absolutely get your screen and you should do that as well because yeah. the parents parents are not good digital role models mm. i mean what what will children learn so i tell them like do not use it unless it is uh, yeah. you know unless it is their work unless you are an engineer who has to reply a mail then it's a different situation but otherwise put the phone away and especially in the times like this too much of screen in a way is not good because uh, uh news is very scary i mean whatever there there are lot of fake room uh, news rumors and uh, they are constantly listing the number of people who are dying etc so that's not going to do any good to us so i'm telling patients to not reach out to phone in the morning or not use the phone right before you go to bed because there is a research that says the blue light that is emitted from the screens uh, you know impairs our melatonin secretion so you don't maintain the sleep or even initiate the sleep for that matter also having the charging point not in your bedroom somewhere else that you charge your phone mm. because they say that you know throughout the night charging the phone is not good at all you know there are explosions yeah. happening it's very dangerous you know it's something to do with the technology mm. radiations right so i am i'm telling but them I... also i kind of scare them of saying you know all these things so they are little <laughs> conscious at least <laughs> yeah and actually when you are uh, where the first aspect also ma'am lot the... of people don't uh, know about uh, pay... yeah yeah you, your voice is not clear tell me lot of people don't know if it am i audible yeah yeah now you yeah. audible yeah please tell me please tell me. i forgot where was where was i huh? now i know i can i now i'm behaving my age <laughs> <laughs> ma'am you're not old at all <laughs> i was going to say something
something then i started listening to you and it kind of some slipped off somewhere <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 i got it back yeah see when yeah, the yeah. when when we start telling the children that they are addicted we need to tell them that uh, mm. what will happen if you get into this too much yeah. one is you know you will not do anything else you are not just actually meeting up this time will just pass then mm. how uh, if somebody has a negative comment on social media how it will spoil your entire day that is mm. so whatever little piece you have that itself will be gone then how mm. it can harm, harm your eyes like how you spoke about melatonin and how it can yeah. you know affect your even your bones how it can affect your nerves how it can affect mm. your spinal cord all these things most especially children they wouldn't know adults mm. would have read but children wouldn't mm. know so it's important mm. to tell them that so scaring mm. Uh, mm. rightly scaring is probably yeah. one of the crux of educating them so that mm. every time they are using the phone this will be in the back of the head maybe it will help mm. them stop using it earlier mm. Mm. Help mm. <laughs> yeah yeah ma'am what about adults like how do we tell adults to Uh, limit the screen time. Other than having a routine, we spoke about having a routine will help you not have the mm-hmm. screen view. Mm-hmm. But what are the other techniques? Especially a lot of people work from their phones. So how yeah. to take breaks in between? Because I know that when I ask patient to take break from work, so they mm-hmm. switch from their computer to their mobile. So th- that's not a break. That you're switching from one screen to another screen. Mm-hmm. So how do we help them, ma'am? How do we help the adults? So, suppose they are at a desk working on a computer. they can actually move away from that and do some stretching exercises so some people can do it every half an hour otherwise at least every once in 45 minutes for at least 5 minutes they should take off hmm. if they are working in a place where there are some steps they can go up and down one flight of steps five times hmm. that will help some blood circulation and that will actually correct the posture and that will also help them you know uh, be more fit hmm. then uh, what they can do is uh, exercise is one way doing an alternative yeah. activity is another way then mm. if they have some errands lined up which they can do in a short period of time taking breaks from their work which is on on screen they can do that for example yeah. folding clothes or dusting yeah. a part of the room or yeah. you know yeah. just uh, you know cu- cutting vegetables for the next day's meal i mean small tasks yeah. but yeah. something which they can do in between their work and just finish that off simultaneously Yeah, so that yeah. will help them do some alternative activity other than screen yeah yeah um th- uh, yeah i mean that's a great advice ma'am um also i'm seeing a lot of research on screen addiction because it's a new upcoming um yeah. disease entity yeah. um you know it has increased uh, uh, the rates of obesity uh, cardiac conditions atherosclerosis dyslipidemia yeah. yeah. even strokes yeah. uh, obviously because of sedentary lifestyle yes and the world is just one click away you don't have to go anywhere you don't have to walk anywhere mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, so what i am telling patients is you know there are there it, you, can, you can do like one shot two words approach where whenever you want to use your phone or any screen mm-hmm. you can't mm-hmm. be sitting or lounging you have mm-hmm. to be stand up walking stand up or you're walking and doing it we will stand so up stand up <laughs> 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 yeah ma'am but, but that that's actually working even for me personally so i'm starting to i'm starting to walk and you know take the calls and walk yeah. and uh, yes that's uh, because i'm getting exercise yeah helps. i'm getting exercise plus uh, <laughs> i got stumbled on your comment ma'am <laughs> no it's good see your steps app also works when you're walking yeah. no so at the end of the day you're like wow i did 8000 steps <laughs> yeah yeah that that really helps <laughs> <laughs> uh ma'am one more thing what i was thinking would help is uh, uh you know switching off your wifi for you know mm-hmm. at least a few hours uh mm-hmm. you can have at least at least 5 to 6 hours or 8 hours at least around the bedtime yeah. switch off the wifi and uh, make sure like no one can reach the place unless it's you who wants to turn it on i think that will also help because without internet i think a lot of people will not use their screens much maybe they listen to music or Something but like mobile that. data is there no Which mobile data will be there mobile data ah uh, this is for the kids will with no sim yeah. and things okay. like that okay without sim yeah, yeah. without sim yeah, yeah. that will help them it works for them yeah off the and wifi even, yeah. yeah off the wifi even for adults mm. ma'am because mm. mobile data is a very limited amount of data they can't really surf big videos and yeah. things like that so yeah. they'll just be on the this thing and a lot of people also are mostly addicted to the chatting 
Hmm. There is a group of aides that relies completely on chatting. Yeah. Uh, I think make like you said, you know, forming real connections and making friends yeah. around <laughs> and mm. and yeah. uh, for me, in fact, I am reducing screen time by painting or by doing other activity, any creative uh, mm. activity. Mm. That I do. But I mean, lockdown is an exception because. everything is even ordering vegetables is on screen so i am mm. spending a lot of time on screen but otherwise otherwise i think yeah. all the film yeah um ma'am i was thinking people who are prone for screen addiction right um are these people more prone for other substance use disorders as well like alcohol nicotine any other i um, mean i haven't really read studies per se yeah. but yeah. i would say that if you were to apply the same paradigm hmm. but uh, the thing is uh, screen addiction is also common in people who are otherwise not so risk taking and impulsive hmm? Hmm. so uh, that sometimes what may happen is uh, people, other people also may be addicted hmm? yeah 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 so we yeah, can't say the paradigm it, it is not necessarily the same that it hmm. can't be the the same uh, principles that apply to uh, addiction of alcohol or other substances hmm. Mm-hmm. cannot be applied to this as well yeah 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 true true i mean there's more research to be done ma'am um ma'am any any other any other tips that you have for uh, especially adults because i think most of the viewers are uh, adolescents and adults any other tips you think will help um uh, i think the combination of tips will help mm-hmm. because it's different for different people Yeah. It depends on if you are if you are looking for yourself. I think what mm-hmm. we need to remember is one is we need to decide how much time I want to spend on screen. Yeah. And I need to decide what am I like like you said you are spending time painting. I may mm-hmm. be spending time cooking or maybe exercising. Mm-hmm. So for each person it is it is different. And mm-hmm. even for that person each day may be different. That today mm-hmm. I will speak to this aunt probably who you know who stays alone. Or today probably mm-hmm. I will go and get groceries. You know, with all the necessary mm. precautions, yeah, so it yeah, depends. Yeah, yeah. Whatever uh, we need to do, we need to do, and it is uh, different for different ages. But with children, especially, it is a mm. constant uh, monitoring that is important. You cannot mm. uh, let off your guard. You need to observe mm. them as to what they are watching. Uh, you know, sometimes you may have to snoop and see, look at their histories as well as yeah. to what is happening. Then uh, there, there are certain. I'm getting calls in between. I think that's the reason. Where the video is getting yeah. cut in between, so, uh, so there are certain apps which can be installed to monitor the digital content. Then I think I have read about some apps which can be used to actually block the screen time once the particular time limit is done. You know, yes. those yes. apps are also there, yes. so the parents can look into those aspects as well. Yeah, yeah, that's a great advice. I think sometimes <laughs> arbitrary ban might work for some people. uh adolescents are like scary population to deal with in this aspect especially <laughs> in lockdown without school and without any friends yeah. it is kind of parents may have to yeah. go little you know lax on what they uh, can allow and what they can't yeah. yeah 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 all right ma'am i think uh, i think that's about it i think you said some great tips and these are tips that anyone can do these are not some uh, extreme things that you can't do and um so i think uh, uh, a lot of people should be able to take home that you know screen addiction is not just psychological they have physical symptoms neurological diseases even orthopedic problems so yeah. everyone should monitor their screen use you know how much because everyone thinks that i'm not addicted the first yeah. sign of addiction is you think you're not addicted i think <laughs> yeah, denial <laughs> denial you know <laughs> denial is the first yeah. thing <laughs> so like, just be open to the idea that maybe the monitoring is quite a bit to so go down on uh, the yeah. usage like the the apps you said i think uh, people should just check on the net and try to yeah. install them yeah. look at the safety yeah. and install them uh, also parent sure. guidance uh, talk to your wifi connection people uh, who can ban certain adult content sites etc um uh, so, you know but again again you know i'm not saying technology is bad technology is great uh, you know if if used in the right way uh, but it can be a curse to humanity if you use it in a very uh, uh in in a terrible way or an excessive way anything in moderation is pretty good yeah. all right ma'am thank you so much i'll thank be posting you. Thank this you, on my yes ma'am i'll be posting this on my page um, if any yes. of uh, your patients want to see they can always uh, check it out thank, thank you thank you for the time ma'am yes, thank lovely you lovely experience thank you. all the best sharan
Thank you. Thank you so much. See you soon, man. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye.